When did you become a Christian? Shortly after moving here. I, I was disenfranchised with Christianity. I just mentioned Christopher Hitchens. I read a few books that he wrote when I was younger. And I thought, you know what? I looked around England and the way society was collapsing and the way Christians behaved. Let's just say it started with versions of reality I saw like that. And I thought, you know, Christian, Christians don't really stand for anything anymore. I challenge any atheist to walk around Romania and just insult Jesus Christ to the normal Romanian man. People say, oh, well, if you insult the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Muslims will punch you in the face. Go and do that in Romania and insult Jesus. The Romanians stand for something. And I saw how Christianity holds this country together. You couldn't wear that watch in London. Walking around London with that watch and no bodyguards could be a death sentence. You could get as drunk as you like by yourself in any bar in Bucharest with that watch on and no one's going to steal it from you. The Romanian people are good people and Christianity is what helps hold the society together. Also, the, the maternal grandfather of my daughter is an Orthodox Christian priest. So even when I was dating his daughter, he was insisting that the grandkids have to be baptized, etc. And I, I fell back into Christianity by reading the Bible cover to cover six years ago. And it opened my eyes to what I was standing against as an atheist. And I thought, why would I stand against this? And then look at atheists. Look at how the atheists behave. That's my team. I looked around and thought, these people don't represent me. Why am I saying I'm an atheist? Let me at least investigate what I'm missing out on. And that's what converted me. And every orthodoxy, true faith, not like being orthodox meaning Eastern or no, no, no. Orthodoxy means true faith. You receive it from the master's mouth, straight to the heart of the Lord Jesus. No right, no left, nothing. Straight to the Lord. This is orthodoxa, straight line, straight faith. When you have this kind of an orthodox, straight line faith, straight to the heart of the Ma Lord Jesus, the sacred heart of the Lord, then in every orthodoxy there is paradoxy. Paradoxy, two parallel lines can never meet. What is impossible to man is possible to God. Two parallel lines, what are they? Number one, the Lord Jesus is the lion and the, sh and the lamb. The Lord Jesus said, be innocent as the dove and be wise as a serpent. Two parallel lines, dove and serpent, enemies. The serpent comes and devours the doves, babies and eggs. Lion and lamb, dove and snake, serpent, grave and resurrection, darkness and light, salt and light. Two parallel lines, but when it's done by God, perfect.